guys, it's Charity from A Loop and a Hook, and today I wanted to do a video for you guys on me going through all my books I have, and I'm going to be pulling them out and showing you some of my favorites, and I'm going to just get rid of the ones that I'm not going to use anymore. So I wanted to bring you guys along while I go through all my books. I have three plus boxes of books to go through, and these are pretty good sized boxes. I'm going to just go through them. These are books I've collected over the years. I've read quite a few of them, but some of them I haven't. So I'm just going to go through pull out the ones that I don't think I'm going to read anymore or I don't need. And I'm really just going to try to simplify what I have. This is my first box of books, and I'm going to be going through this one. So this one right here I haven't read yet, but I really like this author. So I think I'm going to keep this one so I can read it when I have some spare time. This one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put this on my maybe pile. I don't know if I'm gonna actually read it or not. This is a handbook of all, like, it's like an English handbook. So it has different rules and different ideas for like writing papers and general English stuff. So I think this one will be a good one to keep on hand. I have this one which I haven't read yet, but I might keep this one. I'll put this one in the maybe pile as well. This book here I started reading a while ago, but I never finished it, and I'm going to keep this one so I can finish reading it. This book here is really special to me because this one was given to me when I was around eight years old. And in the front of it, it has some writing there from my great grandma. So I am going to be keeping this book. This book right here is one of my favorite books. I love it. It's Eight Cousins by Louisa May Alcott. This book, I would say, if you need something to read, I would say you should definitely consider reading this one because it is, I, I love the book. It was so good and I would say that you should read this one too. I finished the first box and I'm now going to go through my second box of books. This book here I read a while ago, but this book I loved. It was such a good book, and I would re recommend that you try to find this book and you read it too. I have this giant stack of books here, which you can only see part of, but I'm going to go through this pile and then there's a box underneath, so I'll show you some of these books. This book right here is the Pillsbury Cookbook. This is mom and my favorite cookbook ever. I w they don't make it anymore, which is super sad, but I found this at a thrift sale one day and I was so excited. Be the Fix It and Forget It Cookbook. Uh, these are really nice books. I really like them because they're all crock pot meals and they're great for when you are busy and you just need to throw something in the crock pot so you can have dinner. This one right here is one of my notebooks. Um, it is from, oh, it's from 2013. So these are just a lot of my notes from church. I filled this one up and I, there's many more that are on this pile that I'll show you too. This book right here, Piano Classics, this is a book of really nice piano music and I found this one also at a thrift store and I got this. Mom has one of these and I'm saving this one in my hope chest. This right here, Joy of Cooking, is a really nice cookbook. Mom has one downstairs but I'm keeping this one and this one I really like and we do use this cookbook a lot. This one was my first Bible I ever had, as you can probably tell it's a little beat up, but I love going through and this one I underline and highlight lots of different verses that mean a lot to me, so I like this one a lot. This Bible right here is another one that I have. This one was given to me by mom and dad on my 13th birthday. 
This right here is my favorite crochet book ever. I use this a ton. And if you are learning crochet or want to learn more about it, I would say this book should be a must have for every crocheter because it is amazing. It covers everything. It has so many different stitches in it. I love this book. Here are just a few of my journals. This one was like, I filled this up in two and a half years. This one I'm working on and this is another one I'm working on right now. So I have all these. So I'm keeping those around because I like going back and reading what was going on. We are now on to the third box and this one I believe is my fullest box so there should be a lot of good books in here. I have a few of the Anne of Green Gables books here and these are really good. I really like these books and I would say that you should definitely read these if you haven't yet. This book right here was given to me by one of our viewers on our other channel and I read this book and I loved it. So I would say that if you haven't read this book to read it because I really enjoyed it. It was a good book and I would say that you should definitely read it. right here I read a few years ago and this is a really good book so if you need something to read I'd say you should read this this book right here is also by Louise May Alcott and this was a really good book this book is a whole bunch of sh short stories by by her and I really enjoyed this book this is also by Louise May Alcott and I love this one too. This is the sequel to The Eight Cousins by her. This book right here, I don't know if you can tell what it says right there. It's Christy. I read this book and it was so good. I loved it and if you need something to read and you have some time to read, this book is amazing and I would recommend that you should read this. I hope you have enjoyed watching me go through all my books and me showing you some of my favorite books. All the ones I'm going to keep, I am going to put back in boxes and then hopefully find a bookshelf to put them on so I can easily access them and read them. And I'm going to read some of them and then if I don't like them, I'll get rid of them so I can just keep moving books along. So if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what some of your favorite books are that you think I should read and I will go through those and I might be able to read some of them. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!